They say clothes make the man, and your wedding is just the time for your groom to dress his best. So brides, take some time to help him find the tuxedo that complements your look. The bride absolutely has to be involved in purchasing the tux. Without having the visual cues of what the bride is going to wear, the groom really has no starting point. Make it a vital part of the planning process. When the bride chooses to bring the groom in at an early point of the planning process, it's amazing what it does even for their own relationship. For your groom to feel good in his tux, he needs one that truly suits his personal style. He can never go wrong with a classic design, but he's not tied to the old-fashioned rules of formal wear. Trends like convertible shirts and shadow striping have grooms strutting their personal style. This shirt is an all-over PK. You'll see there's a texture to the shirt that makes the shirt pop. The front area is called covered placket. This is actually the placket of the shirt. It covers the area that's needed for studs so that it, then it becomes a convertible shirt because this can be worn without a tux. This is an example of a peak lapel and also a shadow stripe. So here, looking at both here. So notice the lapel is thin and the actual lapel peaks off. This suit is called a day suit. It's a little more contemporary. And you can thank popular TV shows for making sleek, streamlined looks hot once again. The Mad Men TV show is influencing a lot of new formal wear trends. A couple of trends in particular are thin lapels, where the lapel itself is thinner. The notch, this piece, is higher. That's a style reflective of the late 50s, early 60s. Grooms can also accessorize with style, sporting items like classic bow ties and custom cufflinks. These small items will help your groom shine while standing next to you but all of his groomsmen will be in tuxedos too. So how do you make your man stand out among many? What we do is we change the tie and pocket square. That's the understated, elegant way to do it without a lot of changes, because when you see your wedding pictures, you want to see coordination. But the groomsmen don't have to be in black tuxedos to look coordinated. Things like linen suitings, cotton suits, seersucker, those types of things can be worn and look very elegant. Whether your groom chooses the classic tuxedo or the more casual look, what's most important is that he feels confident and comfortable, so that when he stands next to you, he truly looks his finest.